the HTTP 404, 404 not found, 404, page not found, or server not found error message, as a hypertext transfer protocol standard response code in computer network communications, to indicate that the browser was able to communicate with a given server, but the server could not find what was requested. The error may also be used when a server does not wish to disclose whether it has the requested information. The website hosting server will typically generate a 404 not found web page when a user attempts to follow a broken or dead link, hence the 404 error is one of the most recognizable errors encountered on the World Wide Web. Links on 404 pages are so important because they give users a way out of the error page. Instead of closing the window or navigating away from your site, the user is able to find helpful and potentially relevant resources on another page. Welcome to Tribe Web Information Tech, today I will show you how to set up 404 redirect on your website. For those who don't know what a 404 error looks like, I will show an example on my tutorial blog. If I type the URL of my homepage or any other page on my website, I will be directed to the page. But if I type in the URL of a page that I have removed or doesn't exist on my website, I will get an error telling me that the page doesn't exist. To fix this error, you will need to log into the admin panel of your website. I will be using Blogspot for this tutorial. But it is quite similar for WordPress users. Carefully follow my steps. Go to your settings menu, scroll down until you find errors and redirects. Then, click on custom 404 and type in the following code. The code I used can be found on the video description, if I am moving too fast you can pause the video to meet up to my speed. After writing the code. Save it. Head over to your website and type in a URL of a page that doesn't exist on your website to confirm if you will be redirected back to your homepage in some seconds. If you want the redirection to be faster than the one in this video tutorial, change the time from 7000 to 3000. This is in milliseconds, so you can use any online tool to calculate how many seconds you want the 404 error to display before sending your users back to your homepage. Make sure you don't keep them on your 404 page for more than 5 seconds, because they might get impatient and leave your site immediately. This will increase your bounce rate, and you will lose potential web traffic. Thank you guys for watching this video, if you find the video helpful or educative, support this channel by liking the video and subscribing to the channel. If you have any question, don't hesitate to ask me in the comment section, I am always available to help you. Until my next tutorial, take care.